The NATO Summit. It's the annual meeting of the world's most powerful alliance. Sort of like if the Avengers were extremely concerned about steel tariffs. And yesterday, the meeting got off to a rocky start. President Trump had a testy exchange with the president of France. He called out Canada for not pulling its weight financially. And he demanded that Germany stop pronouncing their W's like V's. <laughs> You're making Wiener Schnitzel sound way less funny like that. It's Wiener, not Wiener. <laughs> so Trump spent all day causing chaos at the NATO summit, right? And then later that day, it led to something that nobody has seen before. A bunch of world leaders caught on camera laughing at America's president <laughs> behind his back. Breaking overnight, a video that might just drive the president crazy. It appears to show the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, the French President Emmanuel Macron, and British Prime Minister Boris Johnson laughing at how the president conducted himself yesterday. Watch this. <laughs> That video, that video is amazing for two reasons. One, it is crazy that we were able to hear a private conversation between major world leaders. Like, did they not know this was happening? And two, that when world leaders get together, they are gossipy bitches just like the rest of us. <laughs> like... <laughs> like... I thought... I thought after meetings with Trump, world leaders would be like, okay, we need to go back and draw up a new treaty. Instead, they're out there like, what was he wearing? <laughs> And the French guy's like, oh, so he can't speak English. I mean, I don't speak English, but he really can't speak English. <laughs> yeah, it turns out NATO is so catty, they should get Andy Cohen to host it. That's what they should do. <laughs> and while most people thought this video of world leaders trashing Trump was hilarious, there was uh, one person who did not find it funny. <laughs> We've got the president leaving a testy NATO summit. Leaders appear to be mocking him behind the scenes, and that was the last straw. The president responding right in front of the cameras. Take a look. Does he have a video of uh, Prime Minister Trudeau talking about you last night? Well, he's too faced. The president was scheduled to have a press conference before he left, but during that bilateral meeting, after he was asked, about this video that's going viral of Trudeau that we played for you, the president said, well, I don't think I'm going to have the press conference now. I think after my bilateral meetings, I'll just get on the plane and head back home. Yeah. In response to what happened, Trump called Trudeau two-faced and announced that he was leaving the summit early. And you know what? You know what? To be fair, Trump's not wrong. Justin Trudeau is two-faced. He's got a white one and a brown one. <laughs> and... As for him going home, as for Trump going home early, guys, I think they hurt his feelings. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like Trump was at a sleepover and all the other kids turned on him, you know? And now he's just there like, Mom, I know it's a day early, <laughs> but can you come pick me up from NATO? <laughs> and look, man, I know a lot of people don't like Trump, but I don't care who you are, man. Every single one of us knows this feeling. Huh? Finding out all the cool kids at school are laughing at you. <laughs> hmm? And then you run home all the way crying. And you know when you're a kid and you cry, you run with your arms dangling by your side. <laughs> and for Trump, the most hurtful thing is probably the fact that Boris Johnson joined in. That's a shitty thing. <laughs> That's shitty, Boris. That's a shitty move, Boris. That's your friend. You know who Boris is? Boris is that one kid you think is your real friend. And then you see him over there trying to fit in with everyone else, telling them your deepest secrets. Oh, and also, Donald told me he pees the bed. I tell you that in confidence, Boris. <laughs> so shitty. So President, President Trump was clearly hurt by what happened. He decided to head home early. But before he left, before he left, he tried to get back at all these other dudes by making some new friends. 
From the Miracle Meeting, President Trump has got lunch with a select group of NATO nations, what President Trump calls the Two Percenters. That's a group of eight other nations that are spending 2 percent of their GDP on defense. They include Bulgaria, Greece, Britain, Estonia, Romania, Lithuania, Latvia, and Poland. Okay, this is just embarrassing now. <laughs> Trump's rolling with Romania, Lithuania, and Latvia because of what happened? It's almost like the popular kids dropped him and now he's eating lunch at the loser table. <laughs> and they're probably really nice. They're like, don't be sad, Donald. You can have some of my horse tongue. <laughs> it's boiled and pickled. <laughs> to get away. <laughs> so look, man, clearly NATO did not go well for Donald Trump. And I'll be honest, I don't blame the Donald for flying home early. Mr. President, you shouldn't be in a place where people are gonna laugh at you behind your back. You get on Air Force One and you fly straight back home, where we promise that we will laugh at you to your face. <laughs>